Dance Kyla. Here I am again. It's been a while since I made a video, but I have actually had the idea for this series that I'm starting for a while. <laughs> actually, probably going on six years now. And the reason for that is <sighs> story time. <laughs> So, in high school, I dated this guy who genuinely, at least, presented himself as genuinely believing that he was a vampire. Like, Transylvania, blood-sucking, no metaphors here, the whole works. <laughs> Before you ask me, Kyla, why did you date a psychopath? Well, I was a freshman, and I just wanted love. <laughs> I didn't even like the guy. So, our relationship was complete BS. Uh, most of it was just through notes. So, in this series, I'm going to read you some of the notes. I kept them because every time I make a new friend, and I mean depending on how close we get, I usually like to break out these letters and read it to them because they're a good laugh. Like I said, it's been a very long time, so the order of these letters might be slightly off, but I'm starting with what I believe is the first note that I have. If not, it should still hopefully make sense chronologically. And if this first video seems a little bit boring, oh, don't worry. <laughs> These letters get progressively more creepy, funny, cringy. They get better or worse, however you want to look at it. A little bit of background information first so that this makes sense. I don't need to use nicknames with this guy because he went by all kinds of different nicknames and he doesn't use his real name in the letters at all. He uses the nickname that I used for him, which is not his real name. So I don't need to change that. I might change some of the other names that might be mentioned in the letters. So. We're gonna start on the surface. There's a lot more to this than this. But this note is from when we were friends. I was introduced to Chain, which is what I called him, by a friend that we're going to call Katie. Katie came up to me one day and was like, this is my friend Chain. I met him in gym class and the rest is history. He actually dated my friend before he dated me, but I got permission from her to date him. It, what even was high school? <laughs> I've been talking a lot, sorry. Let's get to the content. The context of this letter is this guy was very off the wall. So he would have like all these mood swings and I don't remember exactly what was going on, but he was mad at the world and didn't talk to me or any of my friends for a long time. And I was like, no, why you need to talk to me? like. Love me, like I just wanted attention because I was a little freshman attention seeking whatever. <sighs> so this was his response to a note that I wrote him, so I guess I started this whole thing because he wouldn't talk to me, so I felt forced to write him a note. And this was his response. Alrighty. Okay. I've read the note and heard the words. I've seen you nearly in tears. You might think I'm happy, but I'm not going to be out. I'm, wow. <laughs> Great. You might think I'm happy, but I'm not going to be okay. Our friendship still stands, and it always will. Now and forever, always together. What a great poet. <laughs> you stand by me like the friend I said you was. I thought you was like the rest, contradicting me, victimizing me, not giving me a chance. You'll see why all of those statements are ironic later on in 
the next videos in this series. Is it because I'm a vampire? Is it because I'm a vampire? I'm not making this up. That's probably going to be backwards for you. Is it because I'm a vampire? Is that it? You call those humans friends, but they forced you to tell me off. First of all, my friends were protecting me and I was an idiot, but... I kept an eye on you and watched your every move. Now we've got some Edward Cullen crap going on here. I was going to be gone forever from your life, never to return again. You don't know what it's like to be me, to be hurt, to feel lost, to be left out in the dark, to be kicked when you're down, to feel like you've been pushed around. I would have left if you was happy. I guess were just isn't a word. I see the tears, I hear the cries. It's sad to say, but to my demise, it won't suffice. Yes, I kind of have parts of this memorized because I've just read it so many times. Jog my memories, bring back the faith. I'm sorry for all I've done. So if you want, I'll wipe the tears away. I'm violent at heart, but want the fighting to stop. Try my style, trusting nobody but me. Because I trust nobody but you. I'm evil, but not fully. I'm good, but just barely. What do you see when you look at me? An angel? A devil? I apologize for all I've done. I never meant to make you cry. I'm sorry if I hurt you for acting like you don't exist. I know you got reasons to be pissed. <laughs> Can I point out he spelled no in that sentence N-O? What's English? By the way, this guy was a senior. I was a freshman, so... What does that tell you? If you want me to stay, then go ahead and say those words to keep me around, night and day. So tomorrow, or whenever you see me next, give me a hug and never let go. Alcatraz Subasa. <laughs> I know it's not signed chain, but... <laughs> I'm going to explain why he signed it, Alcatraz Subasa, in another video. That is an explanation for another time. <laughs> we'll get there. So that's the first letter. It's, um, it's strange, but it's nothing like where we're heading. Let me just tell you. Stick around, because we are going down a road, let me tell you. <laughs> so... <laughs> I hope that you all find a laugh out of this series because I have no choice but to just laugh at the situation now. It was kind of horrifying at the time and there were other things going on that I'm probably not going to bring up because I want this to be more of a light-hearted, funny kind of series. I don't want to bring up other stuff that was going on, but just know that there was some very, um, not healthy things going on. So I will see you for the next video where we read the next letter in this little uh, saga. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.